HubSpot was very much born out of MIT. It wouldn't exist without MIT. There's a lot of a lot of influence from MIT Sloan all over HubSpot. It's written into sort of the constitution of HubSpot. What can you do with an MIT Sloan education? You can transform an industry. You can do like we did with HubSpot. Uh, we thought the marketing industry was completely broken. The people had radically changed the way they, they shop for things and buy things, and marketers need to completely radically change the way they market to match that. We came up with the idea basically while we were there, experimenting with the idea while we were there and iterating with the idea in the way uh, while we were there, and business is going incredibly well, and it, and it wouldn't have happened without MIT Sloan. Something that I learned at MIT that's helped drive decision making as a leader of a company is being very disciplined analytically. You know, we took on the whole issue of affordable housing. There was a lot of challenges in many urban communities across the country. And so one of the things we did in convincing a lot of large institutional investors is that there were great opportunities in U.S emerging markets. We have a unique opportunity to potentially make an impact there. MIT gives its students the ability to look at a problem, look at an issue, and take it on. I came to MIT because I saw it as a unique mix of a lot of things I was interested in. So I'm very passionate about energy, water issues. There's a lot going on in that space. MIT gave me the tools to be able to make that passion into something real and something that could be a career for me. Power electronics people don't think about much because often it's embedded inside things. Today there's literally hundreds of millions of power converters in the world. There's a lot of kind of electronic waste around that and also they're not as efficient as they could be. So there's a big opportunity to have an impact from the perspective of reducing overall energy use. So at Rubicon Project, we, we like to think of ourselves like the NASDAQ of um, online advertising. What we do is we provide a infrastructure or a platform that makes the buying and selling of, of advertising transparent, safe, and uh, works in favor of both the buyers and sellers. When I was in the MIT Sloan program, uh, edX was just getting launched. I was really inspired by the mission behind edX. I wanted to figure out um, how I could combine um, maybe the resources of edX with my current company, the Rubicon Project, and our reach and scale to figure out how we can push forward education. So today we're donating close to 400 million daily ad impressions to edX so that they can promote the program throughout the world. MIT attracts a certain set of students that are are dreamers, inventors, and uh, they, they truly believe that they can go on and change the world. Boeing and Ford are very, very similar to MIT in one just fundamental aspect, and that is the fact of what do we really want to accomplish that's really important uh, and will mean something for a lot of people around our world. As we've transformed Ford, we've really dealt with a, a very, very volatile external environment. And I'll never forget uh, when we got to really understand that GM and Chrysler would have gone into bankruptcy and freefall that would have taken the United States from a recession into a depression. So we actually went with our bankrupt competitors and testified on their behalf uh, for the good of the industry and the good uh, of the U.S. economy and the world economy. My Sloan education experience helped me really understand what the issues are, uh, what are the solutions for those issues, and how do you bring people together in a collaborative way to address those? Because great things are gonna get, get done when talented people choose to work together for something really, really important for a lot of people.